We begin tonight with breaking news about a possible big shakeup to the political picture here in Western New York. Yeah, we are talking about Congressman Brian Higgins, who after years in Washington may be considering a big career change. In a story you'll see only here on 7 News, our political analyst Bob McCarthy tells us the congressman could soon swap Capitol Hill for Buffalo's theater district. In every community, lawmakers come and go. It's part of the natural ebb and flow of politics. So it might seem logical that Representative Brian Higgins is being considered for the open president's position over at Shea's Theater. Higgins, a Democrat, has represented the 26th Congressional District since 2005. Now, two sources with knowledge of the situation tell me Higgins is among more than 130 applicants vying to lead the historic theater. One of those sources even calling him the leading contender. That source said it would be great for Shays and great for the community. I reached out to Higgins' spokesperson for more information, and I'm still waiting for a call back. But if Higgins emerges as the new Shays boss after a year of turbulence among its top leaders, it could prove the first in a long line of political dominoes to fall. That's because there's no shortage of potential successors. Most often mentioned are Mayor Byron Brown, himself often mentioned as a potential new president of Buffalo State University and State Senator Tim Kennedy. Brown continues in his record fifth term in City Hall, where most observers see his tenure winding down. Those close to him say he has always coveted a congressional seat, and because they don't open that often, this could prove his best chance. Kennedy, meanwhile, counts more than $2 million in his campaign treasury, a staggering amount for an upstate legislator. And while he could not use the money in his state account for a federal race, those following his career say he could still find ways to use it toward a congressional campaign. Others mentioned include State Senator Sean Ryan and County Executive Mark Polencars. More moves could lie ahead. What if Brown emerges as the candidate to succeed Higgins? Kennedy has often been mentioned as mayor too, as have others like Ryan or South Council member Chris Scanlon. Other dominoes could fall in the Senate and Assembly if some of those mentioned make their own moves. It all adds up in these coming days as potentially critical for the future of Buffalo politics, with all eyes on Higgins as he ponders his own future. And we welcome Bob into the studio. Bob, great reporting here. Very interesting stuff. Does Shays have a timeline on when this position may be filled at this point? Jeff, there doesn't appear to be anything imminent. My sources tell me that uh, the theater's uh, search committee had its first meeting today. So we're not really talking about anything that I think will happen uh, very soon. But it, it bears watching because several top sta staffers have left the congressman's office in recent weeks, and he continues to be talked about as uh, a potential president of Buffalo State University, too. So it appears that he is uh, thinking about his future. Sure, you know, a lot know. to watch here, and I know there you is. will. There is. In terms of uh, t salary, right? In terms of the, that Shays position, yeah, what are we talking yeah, about The here? Buffalo News uh, recently reported that uh, Shays reported to the IRS that the salary for the top position was three hundred seventy four thousand mm -hmm. dollars that's two hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars more than he makes as a member of congress so that very much enters the picture here too very interesting something i know you will watch closely we will indeed all right bob yeah. mccarthy in studio with us tonight thanks so much bob thank you